वोट ऑफ द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ इंडस्ट्रीज स्विफ्ट हो गया स्टील प्लांट्स ठीक है सिक्स हो गया इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स और सेवेंथ हो गया पेट्रो कैपिटल्स ठीक है तो लेट्स बिगिन विद आर दिस न्यू लेसन दैट इज कॉल्ड एज द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग इंडस्ट्रीज पार्ट वन एंड पार्ट टू नो इन दिस टू लेसन दिस इज अ कंप्लीट यूनिट एंड दिस कंप्लीट टू यूनिट विल the importance of the industries classification of the industries then the steel plants then electronics and then it is petrochemicals now let's come to the first topic that is the hot and textile industry now first point about it is what is the importance of the hot and textile industry so answer is ki india has a very big population and india has a tropical type of climate so therefore the need of the cotton uh, clothing is lot and uh, first thing that means the cotton is needed over here because of the climate second population is very big they need clothes that means the ready market is there for which uh, some kind of clothing is needed third india produces cotton as well india does not produce very good quality cotton it is average wala more theek okay? hai but uh, since large population is poor itself so even that is much better and costlier for them ठीक है इंडिया प्रोड्यूसेस वेरी लिटिल वेरी गुड क्वालिटी ऑफ द कॉटन एंड द कॉटन क्वालिटी कैन बी डिवाइडेड इनटू थ्री पार्ट्स वन पार्ट इज कॉल्ड एज द लार्ज स्टेपल कॉटन द सेकंड इज कॉल्ड एज द मीडियम स्टेपल कॉटन एंड द थर्ड इज कॉल्ड एज द शॉर्ट स्टेपल सो व्हाट इज द लेंथ ऑफ इट दैट इज द 24 टू 27 एंड दिस इज द 21 टू 24 एंड 19 एंड बिलो ठीक है, दीज आर द्री कैटेगरीज इन विच द कॉटन थ्रेड्स लेंथ इज मीजर एंड बेस्ड ऑन द लेंथ ऑफ द कॉटन फाइबर्स लेंथ इट्स क्वालिटी इज डिसाइडेड सो इंडिया प्रोड्यूस वेरी लेस वन एंड दिस मिडल वन एंड द लीस्ट वन आर प्रोड्यूस मोर द बेस्ट क्वालिटी ऑफ कॉटन इज कॉल्ड एज द इजिप्शियन कॉटन एंड नेचुरली इट ग्रोज इन इजिप्ट ओनली बट इट ग्रोज इन दर पार्ट एज वेल now uh, this is about the cotton quality now uh, <coughs> what uh, is done in this industry is that first of all cotton is plucked from the cotton plant then its seeds are separated okay the these seeds are called as the binola and uh, what is binola is used for binola is uh, then uh, utilized for taking out oil and the residue is used by the animals for its feed so that is uh, the use of milk and this fiber this is converted and this fiber is converted into uh, clothes now uh, what is the importance again because india earns some foreign exchange as well and uh, it is preferred because of the india's tropical type of climate that is the warm climate so that is why it is most useful for indians as most of the india lies in the tropical zone now let's see the what are the where are the some of the cotton industries located in india so in cotton industries are located in most part of the india hmm, just because the people are there so naturally they can supply to the local needs as well uh, some of the main units are like maharashtra in maharashtra the mumbai is a case study that why mumbai has a very big concentration of the cotton textile industries and what are the pluses and minuses of it so pluses are like this that mumbai has got a very uh, good humid climate and the use of the humid climate is that the thread doesn't break it can stretch so this improves the quality first thing secondly mumbai has got good capital facility that means the money 
so their banking facility is there so industries can utilize this then third is the labor that maharashtra has very uh, poor people around it and therefore uh, it has so many uh, workers also who are working in the <coughs> industries fourth transportation that mumbai is on the seashore and therefore the sea uh, conveyance that means the seaports airports roadways all kind of conveyances there to so the ready made goods as well as the raw materials can come and back theek hai export and import can be done very easily so this location of the mumbai now these are some of the factors ki why mumbai has become a very favorable location for this quarter textile industry now let's come to the problems of the quarter textile industry the problems is that people are not investing uh, in the latest technology so obsolete machinery does not produce very good quality second most of the people are poor so they cannot afford very high priced uh, cotton textile and therefore the industrialists are also not uh, making it as far as industrial uh, international competition is concerned the international competition india faces competition by pakistan bangladesh and several other countries as well and there the taxes are low plus india does not produce very good quality uh, cotton in very large quantity so it has to import it so because of this the indian products are costlier and therefore it is not uh, getting that much uh, profit outside this is these are the reasons for less profitability of the cotton textile industry in india some other problems are like the labor problem then uh, some are like uh, the financial problems as well hmm. so these are some of the problems that uh, are being faced by the cotton textile industry <coughs> now let's come to the next one that is called as the silk industry now silk industry is basically uh, more in they are in karnataka because of the reason of that the climate there is suitable for the growth of the silk worm as the silk worm produces silk and uh, through which this uh, silk cloth, uh, cloth is made so first uh, what is the factor that is the climate it is suitable now what is the name of that silk worm which is used to produce the silk that is called as the bombyx mori uh-huh. that is more, mostly used now what are the types of the silk that are produced that is called as the tussar muga then uh, <coughs> ठीक है तो तसर मुंगा एरी ठीक है दीज आर सम ऑफ द टाइप्स ऑफ द सिल्क दैट इज प्रोड्यूस नाउ दिस सिल्क व्हिच इज प्रोड्यूस बेसिकली हाउ इट इज प्रोड्यूस नाउ कम टू नो अबाउट दिस दिस इज कॉल्ड एज सेरी कल्चर सो व्हाट इज कल्चर व्हाट इज सेरी कल्चर द मेथड इन व्हिच द सिल्क इज प्रोड्यूस इज कॉल्ड एज सेरी कल्चर नाउ इन दिस द सिल्क वर्म्स आर देयर सो सिल्क वर्म प्रोड्यूस देयर लिक्विड दैट दे सराउंड अराउंड देयर बॉडी and uh this called as a cocoon later on these silk worms are collected they are boiled in the water the worms are removed and the remaining thread that is utilized for making of the silk this is called as the natural silk and it is used for making so many different kind of cloths some of the important type of the cloths in the cities are like the banarsi silk sarees that are there then the tassar then the munga then the eri these are some of the areas where these uh, silk uh, cloths are made now uh, let's come to the silk part of it that these silk uh, since it is made from uh, the natural material they are very costly also and they require very uh, good skills for making of the sarees now second part of it is that uh, the there are some natural this is a natural thread and apart from this there are some man made threads also Uh, which are used for making of the cloth these are called as the nylon hai na and nylon are basically the synthetic fibers that are used for making cloths so there are two type of cloths basically the natural ones and the man made ones now what is the uh, uh, advantage of the man made ones man made one is that these are very soft they can be washed easily hmm. there is no need of uh, too much of the ironing in that but the press is not to be done too much and uh, these are basically the advantages of the man made fiber it also makes them quite cheaper also so that it can be afforded very easily now come to the next part that is the sugar industry 
Now, sugar industry is basically uh, these uh, products which are made from the output of the sugar cane. Now, India produces large amount of the sugar cane both in North India as well as South India. But there is some difference. Now, let's understand this. What is the difference between the sugar industry in the North?